How's it going star seekers? Welcome back to the channel once again where I'm bringing you another asset flip warning video, this time for a game called Grand Prix Racing. It's a racing simulator game from my number one asset flipping developer slash publisher Pixarts. It's just one of many asset flips they intend to release onto the Nintendo Switch eShop in the next couple of weeks, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with my latest asset flip warnings. Now if you're not aware of what an asset flip is, then it basically involves buying pre-made game assets from somewhere like the Unity Store, which are intended to be used as starting points or save developers a bit of time when developing the games. Asset flippers instead comprise the game solely of pre-made assets and package them together to produce a shoddy end product, which they then try to flog as a fully fledged game, despite them not actually developing any element of it. And so today we have Grand Prix Racing, and I'm not gonna lie, it took me a little while to locate the assets that they'd bundled together to create this beast of a racing sim. To start with, the tracks in the game have been created using an asset called Racetrack Generator. It's a very powerful tool which is able to easily create complete tracks in just a few clicks of a button. Checking out a couple of the testimonials for the product, we have this fella who says it's super easy, one push of a button and tracks generated, and Steven who says you basically get a track in a click, and it provides a high quality track that you can use as a starting point. Exactly Steven, a starting point. Now of course like many tools of this kind, you can then add your own 3D models in, or change the visuals up by simply editing the image files which come packaged with the tool. But Pixarts haven't bothered to do this and so we've got the default advertisement banners which come as standard. Now from what I have seen, you're able to just plop your car down into the track and get going right away. But first you're gonna have to snag yourself a nice selection of cars to add a bit of variety. So why not head on over to the Uni Asset Store and grab yourself, oh I don't know, Fantastic Race Cars Pack Volume 2. The cars in this pack come fully textured both externally and internally and some cars even include a cool little sat nav so you know where to go when you're racing around the race tracks which took you many hours to develop. So it took me quite some time to identify exactly which car assets they bought for the game, but as you can see they're models from a guy called Thunderbolt, though they may have had to drop the quality of them a bit to get them to run on the beast that is the Nintendo Switch. As for the user interface that they used, I wasn't actually able to find out what they'd used for that, though it looks like it was knocked up in Microsoft Paint in all of 30 seconds. It also doesn't look like they've even bothered to include the minimap system which actually comes with Racetrack Generator as there might have been just a little too much work involved in getting that up and running. So what else can I say? Pixarts have knocked it out of the park with this one but they do have a few more games incoming this week which might just top the high quality racing simulator that is Grand Prix Racing, perhaps maybe Gorilla Big Adventure. Now if you want to give the game a test run there's actually a web based demo of Racetrack Simulator which likely offers a gameplay experience close to the end product and I'll leave a link to this in the description box below along with all the assets used to build Grand Prix Racing. So that's about all for this asset flip warning video so be sure to hit that like button if it helped you out and don't forget to subscribe for future asset flip videos as well as detailed reviews of actual Nintendo Switch games. For now though I just want to thank you all once again for watching and until next time take care of yourselves and game on.